Hey health enthusiasts! Today I'm breaking down chickenpox and shingles, two conditions caused by the varicella zoster virus. If you think these two are the same thing, think again. Let's start with chickenpox. This highly contagious disease primarily affects children, thanks to its itchy, blister-like rash. Did you know that chickenpox was first clinically described in the 1500s? Crazy, right? The virus spreads through direct contact or through the air by coughing or sneezing. Symptoms include fever, tiredness, loss of appetite, and of course, the infamous rash. Now, for treatment. Most cases in children are mild and can be managed at home. Cool baths, anti-itch lotions, and plenty of fluids can ease the discomfort. But remember, always consult your healthcare provider before giving medications like ibuprofen or aspirin to kids. Next, let's talk shingles. If you've had chickenpox, you're at risk for shingles later in life. The varicella zoster virus can lie dormant in your nerve tissues for years, even decades. When it reactivates, it causes shingles a painful rash usually on one side of the body. Symptoms often start with pain, burning, or tingling in the affected area, followed by the rash. So how do we treat shingles? Antiviral medications like acyclovir can shorten the duration and reduce the severity of the illness. Pain management is also crucial ranging from over-the-counter pain relievers to stronger prescription meds. Sometimes doctors may recommend corticosteroids to reduce inflammation. Now, let's talk prevention. The chickenpox vaccine is a game changer. Introduced in 1995, it has drastically reduced the number of chickenpox cases. Typically, kids get two doses, one at 12, 15 months, and a booster at four, six years. For adults, there's the shingles vaccine. It's recommended for everyone over 50, regardless of whether they've had shingles before. This vaccine can significantly lower your risk of developing shingles and its complications. So, there you have it, chickenpox and shingles explained. Remember, vaccination is your best defense against these viruses. Stay informed, stay healthy, and as always, consult your healthcare provider for personalized advice. Catch you in the next video. Stay healthy, folks. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.